my dad was an avid collector of books. He read a lot. And I think maybe because as a child I was very capable, so I wanted to see what he was reading. Wordsworth, your Coleridge, uh, the Romantics. And I, I remember when I was 12, uh, I read Ellen Ginsberg's Howl. That really blew my mind. Uh, I was finally exposed to the Singapore writing scene really at about 18 years old, you know, through Poetry Slam and to watch amazing and remarkable poets. That's when you get to know the entire community and that's where I really fell in love with poetry. When you come to poetry as a friend rather than as a text, I, I'm so glad I never studied lit at any level, so, you know, because that would have changed the way I would have perceived poetry. I write in praise of the six lead line apps that indicate victory, glossy from chlorine in the spotlight's gaze. This is what achievement looks like, not my doughy body that cannot pass IPPT. <laughs> the way he shows Dragon Paper Wind means so much. It is a distillation of so many parts of myself. Trying to overcome so many anxieties that history has shown on me. Uh, I'm Eurasian. Uh, it means that at some point in my history, I probably had a colonial overlord that was my ancestor. I was a result of colonization. But it was also to celebrate all the parts that were missing and trying to recover them. Namely, like all the women in my entire history, my lineage. So much of it is also written uh, with the idea of reinvention, mutation, evolution, recovering family. And I think at the core of it, it is about family. Scale and fang and tooth and claw have found shelter. They feel no need to burst forth, but rest in each other's company. Uh, for me, the monster is very symbolic in two ways because the monster, if we go back to its Latin root, comes from that Latin word monier, which means to warn, to portend. But it's also from that same Latin word that we get the word monstrum, where we get the English word demonstrate. This process of writing is a demonstration of the self, or the selves. I draw from Walt Whitman that I contain multitudes because I am not just my body, right? I am all the bodies of all the people who have led up to me. Uh, we are all not just artists because we love to write or paint or draw or sing. Uh, we are artists because so much of our life is living and negotiating this difficult thing called life. And to me, that is important. And what I've written uh, intertwines between the craft of writing and the act of living. When you look through your heavy morning coffee mist, what do you see? When you talk, I listen. Now let me speak. Now it's time to hear where I come from. Thank you.